more than a decade, the first faltering steps of an infant science have become steadier, resolute, purposeful. Yet for all the advances in development of guided and unguided missiles, the tremendous potential is practically untapped. So we must consider them in the light of present achievement. Only the highlights and basic operational characteristics of six missiles will be presented. These missiles are the Honest John, Corporal, Regulus, Matador, B-61A, Snark, B-62, and Rascal, B-63. At present, these are the JCS-approved missiles with atomic warhead capabilities scheduled to be operational by the end of calendar year 1955. Honest John, a surface-to-surface -surface unguided free rocket with a range of 13.6 or 14 nautical miles. Powered by a four-second 105,000 pound booster using solid fuel, the Honest John is fired on the same basic principle as the artillery piece. The orientation and elevation of the launcher determines the trajectory of this unguided rocket. Spin rockets built into the missile are fired immediately after takeoff producing a spin of two to three revolutions per second. This ensures maximum accuracy by compensating for any irregularities in the propellant burning. High-speed photography at 1,000 frames per second indicates the apparent ease and smoothness of takeoff. In spite of the lightness of the launcher frame, it is highly resistant to the tremendous heat and pressure exerted during launching. Firings to date give the Honest John a CEP, Circular Error Probable, of 200 yards. Corporal, a surface-to-surface -surface missile also being developed for the field forces, is readied for firing at the White Sands, New Mexico Proving Ground. The entire weight of this missile, 11,000 pounds, is supported by four launcher arms attached near the base of the weapon. Powered with a 20,000-pound thrust acid aniline rocket motor, the Corporal has a range of 25 to 75 nautical miles, carrying the Mark 7 implosion warhead. Military requirements call for a CEP, circular error probable, of 200 yards. Test firings indicate that greater accuracy will be attained. Unlike the Honest John, this missile is guided. Preset guidance programmed before launching is used initially. Once airborne, however, the corporal guidance is taken over by radar and radio control, and the missile is directed to its target. The Regulus is the first of the Navy's guided missiles scheduled to carry an atomic warhead. During initial operational tests at Edwards Air Force Base, California, the Regulus was equipped with retractable landing gear, enabling the missile to be recovered intact. Weight of the gear is equivalent to that of the payload and is retracted in flight so that normal flight characteristics will be unimpaired. During test flights, the Regulus operates under the command of a guidance aircraft. Operationally, however, the Regulus is to be fired from a submarine which will dive immediately after launching. During missile flight, the launching and guidance submarines can be completely submerged except for their periscope antennas. Range of the Regulus, a surface-to-surface -surface missile, is 500 nautical miles. Guidance range, 250 nautical miles beyond the last advanced control station or picket. 
In addition to the original Regulus program, the RAM capability is being developed to provide a ship-to-shore tactical assault use. Also underway are tests on a supersonic version of this missile. The Regulus is capable of carrying the XW-5 or XW-8 atomic warhead. The B-61A is an Air Force pilotless aircraft formerly known as the Matador. A 12,333-pound surface-to-surface missile powered by a turbojet engine, it takes off from Patrick Air Force Base, Florida, and climbs on course to 40,000 feet toward its target in the Bahamas. High-speed photography enables you to observe the zero-length operational launcher and the missile's extreme stability during takeoff. Shortly after launching, the booster unit detaches itself and falls to Earth. During tactical missions, a nose probe will be used in conjunction with a Mark V 44-inch warhead to assist in determining height of burst. Range of the Matador, 600 nautical miles. Guidance range, 250 nautical miles beyond the last control station. A new version of this missile has a design range of 800 nautical miles and is capable of a low altitude flight profile to the target. The B-62, commonly known as the SNARK, is an Air Force surface-to-surface -surface missile with a 5,500 nautical mile mission capability in the final version. Powered by turbojet engines with rocket boost, the SNARK weighs 60,600 pounds gross and will carry the 60-inch implosion warhead. With a speed of 0.9 Mach at 35 to 45,000 feet, the SNARK is flown under the command guidance of a ground controller during tests but will employ an automatic celestial navigation system in the final version. With a landing speed of 190 knots indicated, the Snark test missile lands on skids, and a drogue parachute, similar to that used with the Regulus, is utilized for braking action. The Rascal is a pilotless aircraft with an official designation of B-63. It is an air-to-surface parasite missile capable of being launched from B-36, B-52, B-47, B-50, or similar type aircraft at altitudes of 25 to 30,000 feet. Pre-launch information is accomplished by a K-4 computer in the mother plane. An inertial guidance system controls the B-63 to a predetermined point where search radar relays information to the control aircraft. Radar scope pictures provide accurate command guidance during its 30-degree terminal dive to the target. With a gross weight of 20,000 pounds, the Rascal is 33 feet long, 4 feet in diameter, and is boosted to Mach 2.5 by three 4,000-pound thrust nitric acid and gasoline rocket motors. It cruises at 60,000 feet for 100 nautical miles on one of these motors. Capable of carrying the Mark V atomic warhead, the Rascal has a design CEP of 1,500 feet. Even today, the missile is judged by some to have been a desperate measure developed by the Nazis to thwart defeat. Nothing could be further from the truth. The missiles of the present, either guided or unguided, carry a mighty tactical and strategic impact, particularly in this time of military preparedness.